Good morning everyone. Today we are going to study about Reformitsky reaction. What happened in this reaction? This is also an organometallic um, based reaction. In this reaction, your haloester reacts with an aldehyde or a ketone in presence of metallic zinc and forms a beta hydroxy ester. Alright. Uh, the, similar, the reaction is uh, somewhat similar to the Grignard reagent. What happens in the Grignard reagent? In the hello, um, sorry, alkyl halide, your halide group is replaced by a alcohol. So the same thing will be happening here, but in this case, the starting material have a carbonyl group present in it. So um, our first reactant is alpha haloester. It reacts with the zinc that is metallic zinc, what happens, the lone pair of zinc attack this carbon, uh, this bond cleaves and the halide group goes back to the zinc. So this product is formed here. Now the two molecules of this, this product, same two molecule dimerizes and rearranges the zinc halide. So what happens? This attacks on zinc, this bond cleaves, this carbonyl bond attacks here and this bond cleaves. So now what is forming here? Two molecules of this compound. Instead of having zinc on this carbon, the product have zinc on the carbonyl oxygen. So two molecules will be formed, I have written only one. Now what happens, this reacts with an aldehyde or a ketone. Now, this forms a partial bond. This carbonyl carbon facilitates this uh, step. In this uh, step, your double bond attacks the carbonyl carbon and your this bond cleaves and form a bond with the zinc metal, this oxygen zinc bond cleaves and here a double bond forms. Uh, once again, this double bond attacks the carbonyl carbon, this, zinc, uh, this double, the pi bond cleaves and forms a bond between zinc and oxygen. This zinc oxygen bond cleaves and a double bond formation happens here. So in short, what you are getting? This product. You will get this product. Uh, and these two form a six member chair uh, form of transition state. This kind of chair conformation it forms and this results in the stability of this transition state. So what is happening? Um, it's a transition state here. Now uh, this, these two reacts and form this product. Now what happens? Acid work up. Proton from the solvent gets attached to this oxygen and form OH positive. Now, halide ion from the solvent attacks the zinc. This bond cleaves and your zinc is eliminated as zinc halide ZnX2 and this product is formed. In this product, you have a hydroxy group at a beta position from this carbonyl carbon. So your product is beta hydroxy ester. So this is the mechanism of your Reformansky reaction. What happens? Your haloester reacts with an aldehyde or ketone in the presence of 
metallic zinc and forms a beta hydroxy ester. Now, if you see the um, reactants in your products, what is happening? This this halide, this halogen is being replaced by your aldehyde or ketone, whatever is there. All right. Instead of this X, what is coming here? Your aldehyde or ketone in the form of an hydroxy. Alright? So, uh, this is the reformancy reaction.